Threats of possible rotational brownouts may persist until next week as red alert conditions are still foreseen in the Luzon power grid. During a congressional hearing, Department of Energy, Electric Power Industry Management Bureau of Director Mario Marasigan said there are still insufficient reserves if no power plant will come in. Ano naman po yung nakikita natin for the next weeks? Yung pong uh, end of this week hanggang next week, nakikita po natin na kung wala pong makakapasok na planta below the red line pa rin po tayo, so kulang pa rin po yung ating regulated reserve, at magkakaroon pa rin po tayo ng red alert. But the DOE expects an improvement in the supply in the third and fourth weeks of June and first week of July. The agency also expressed hope that there will be no rotational brownouts in Luzon for the rest of June. Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi reiterated that the shutdown of the power plants is the main reason for the rotational brownout in the past days which coincided with the increase in the demand during summer season. Ito pong pagkawala the last two days ng supply is because po yung pagkasabay-sabay na pagkasira ng mga apat na malalaking planta po that we lost around 2,000 megawatts. In a separate interview, ERC Chairperson Agnes De Vanidera said that they already sent letters to 35 generation companies asking for their explanation for the unplanned outages that breached their limit for 2021. 13 of them already replied saying that the outages are due to the delay of parts and arrival of technical people. The ERC also includes in their investigation the angle of sabotage in the supply of electricity. Kung wala namang mabibigay na ebidensya, ay hindi naman namin pwedeng tanggapin yung ganon. So ang nararapat na kaparusahan ay kailangang ipataw namin. Ray Pelayo, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.